Hi, welcome to lesson eight of reading our music notes. Um, we have been focusing for the last few lessons on the bass clef. I'm going to read you Meet the Clefs again, and this is the last time we're going to read that for a few lessons. So here we go. I'm just going to jump right in. Meet the Clefs, written by Brett Siegel and illustrated by Anna Nash. This is a story about a brother and sister who live together in a big house, bass clef and treble clef. They are very similar, but they are very different. Here is bass clef on the bottom. Here is treble clef on the top. Bass lives downstairs. Treble lives upstairs. What note do they share? Bass is left-handed. When he does things like draw or paint, he uses his left hand. Take your left hand and put it on top of bass. And let's touch our fingers to the numbers. So tap your thumb on one, tap your pointer on two, tap your middle finger on three, tap your ring finger on four, and tap your pinky on five. These are the fingers that you would use on the piano. Treble is right-handed. She uses her right hand to do things like write and throw a ball. Take your right hand and put it on top of treble. Tap your thumb for one, tap your pointer for two, tap your middle finger for three, tap your ring finger for four, tap your pinky for five. Bass likes the color yellow. He only eats yellow food like bananas, lemons, and corn. Treble loves the color red. She only eats red food, such as cherries, strawberries, and raspberries. Bass and treble are both musicians. They sing and play many instruments. Bass sings low notes that sound like this. Ta, ti, ti, ta. Treble sings notes that are high that sound like this. Ti, 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 ta, ta. Bass lives downstairs and Trevor lives upstairs, but there is one part of the house that they share. The floor in the middle, which they call middle C. That's this right here, middle C. They will sometimes meet in the middle to sing and play music. When they are done singing and playing at middle C, Bass walks downstairs singing the alphabet backwards. C, B, A. Treble goes up the stairs and sings the alphabet forward. C, D, E. The two clefs live in different parts of the same home making music, both equally talented and both sounding beautiful. Thanks for visiting the clefs. Come back soon. So here we go. Let's look at our three notes, right? We've been talking for the last few weeks about middle C, B, and A. These are notes on the bass clef. Middle C has its own special line. It is not on one of the five lines that the bass clef lives on, right? One, two, three, well, actually one, two, three, four, five. We always start from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. Middle C lives on its own special line, not on one of those lines that bass clef lives on. B is the note that does not have a line going through the head of it. And A lives on the top line of the bass clef. Look, there's a line going right through the head of the note. So let's practice three notes. Actually, let's do six. Let's do six notes and see if you can figure out what they are. My note fell. Here we go. All right, our first note. Use your clues. There's a line going through the head. What note is this? If you said A, you are correct. Let's do our second note. 
Use your clues, figure out what note this is. It's on its own special line. If you said C, you are correct. Here's our third note. What note is this? If you said B, you are correct. Let's go to our fourth note. This note lives on its own special line. What note is this? If you said C, you are correct. Two more notes. Hmm. Oh, I noticed that there's a line going through the head. What note is this? If you said A, you are correct. Let's do our last note. There is no line going through the head of this note, which means it must be which note? If you said B, you are correct. Hmm. 